What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Justin and today we're listening to Joni Mitchell with her song Just Like This Train off of her album Court and Spark released in 1974. Can I ask you guys a question? Can I ask you like an honest, honest question? Do you guys just feel better when you listen to Joni Mitchell? Do you feel like your day is automatically just a little bit brighter and just a little bit better when you listen to Joni Mitchell? Because I do. I don't know what it is, but there's just something about Miss Mitchell that when I listen to her, my day is immediately better, or in this case, my night. Would you want your night to be brighter or would you want it to be darker? I think if it's night, you want it to be darker, right? You don't want a bright night. I don't know. Anyways, I hope that you're having an amazing day. You can join me on Twitter in the comments down below as well, and let's do it. This is Just Like This Train by Joni Mitchell. Just like this train Shaking into town with the brakes complaining I used to count lovers like railroad cars I counted them on my side Lately I don't count on nothing I just let things the station master shot my cars Boxcars are banging in the yards Jealous love will make you crazy If you can't find your goodness Cause you lost your Strong head without claws or any reason to resume, and I found this empty seat in this crowded waiting room. Everybody waiting, old man sleeping on his bags, women with that teased up kind of hair, kids with the jitters.
All right, really quick, like really, really quick. I just want to say this, okay? From the moment that the song first started, I'm in. Just like I said, you put Joni on and you feel better. I, I do, at least. And even though I, it's not like I've had a bad day or anything like that, I compare Joni Mitchell to honey in your tea, okay? If you're having a bad day, a sore throat, so to speak, you put Joni on, it's like just sweet honey in your tea. You drink it, it warms you up inside. It's sweet going down. It just makes everything a little bit easier. That, that's literally what I feel with, with everything I've heard from her, this song included. Beautiful guitar playing, absolutely brilliant drumming. I love like, yes, it's pocket, but there's some moments where he like, uh, uh, Mr. Guerin really picks it up in here. Um, like it's just a really soothing song. And as soothing as she is, she is always thoughtful. So, 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 so thoughtful in every ounce of, of words that she puts together. I've mentioned this before, but it's like the music lulls you into wanting to just put it on the background because it sounds nice. But listen to what she's saying. She is saying so much. She's putting so much heart in her words, even though at the end of the song, she says she lost her heart. You know, um, comparing herself to the train and the train is, <laughs> it seems like it's breaking down. Uh, she talks about the brakes complaining. I like the comparison between herself and the train and things that she notices about the train, the people in it, the train itself, uh, where it's going. She, she includes all of that in her memoirs and what she's doing uh, and what she's talking about in the song. This is just a really good song. I don't have a ton to say musically about it. Sometimes I just put on music. Listen, I know I come here with the expectation to talk about the song, but sometimes I put on a song like this and I just want it to take me away as if I'm on a train. Even as it begins percussion wise and with those notes and the way it builds up, almost like it's building up steam before she comes in, it does at least remind me of a train. Now, is that because the song has the name train in it? Or is that because it actually sounds like a train? I don't know, there's a psychological connection to be made there. But <laughs> regardless, I think it sounds like a train. I feel like listening to Joni Mitchell, if I can make another comparison besides the honey in your tea, I feel like listening to Joni Mitchell, specifically if you have a bad day, is almost like listening to a good friend talk about their problems, you get to talk about your problems to them, and you know that they're actually listening. I feel like listening to her music is like that. That's the last thing I want to say about a comparison really quick. <laughs> just wanted to say that. Let's talk about the lyrics though. I'm always running behind the time just like this train. So she always feels like she's missing something, whatever that something is, whatever that station is. Shaking into town with the brakes complaining. I used to count lovers like railroad cars. I counted them on my side. Lately, I don't count on nothing. I just let things slide. There's so much meaning in all this. The station master shuffling cards, box cars are banging in the yards. Jealous lovin' make you crazy if you can't find your goodness because you've lost your heart. So if you can't find the good in you, it's because you've lost your heart and perhaps you need to try and find your heart. And then she talks about that in the next verse where she says, I went looking for a cause or a strong cat without claws. I'm getting like a relationship, right? Because she does talk about relationships a lot with her music. She's looking for a strong cat without claws, a strong person with her that could be with her and comfort her, but without the claws, you know, something that would hurt her. She talks about being in a waiting room and there's an old man sleeping on his bags, women with teased up hair, kids with the jitters in their legs. <laughs> you know, They just want to be wherever they're going. And then there's a little bit of a sad realization that she comes to in the bridge of the song where she says to herself, basically, what are you going to do now? You've got no one to give your love to. That's that's kind of sad, you know? And I always appreciate Joni for opening herself up like that. She wants to love. She has so much love to give, but no one exactly to give it to. That she knows perhaps will cherish it and treat uh, that love that she's giving the right way. I like how she's talking about uh, watching this person's hairline receding, <laughs> my vain darling. And then the chorus at that point picks up and repeats the line uh, as if she's like done with these deeper thoughts and just wants to watch the stars, the clouds, and this guy's hairline receding. Again, we get kind of a sad ending when she says, I can't find my goodness. I lost my heart. Oh, sour grapes, because I lost my heart. Something I've always said about Joni is that she's not afraid to put herself out there. And even if she was, she still does it with such honesty and commitment that I feel like you can't help but feel for her and, and fall in love a little bit with her and of course the music. I'd love to know what you guys thought of the song. You can join me on Twitter. You can absolutely join me in the comments down below. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.